We didn't have sex before marriage. Thank you. <laughs> we didn't live together. We dated for six years before we got married. I'll come back to that. Um, I can assure you we wanted to have sex before marriage. Th then why did you wait six years to get married? Okay, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll come back to that. Again, God forgives. I know all couples can't begin here, but we did. Well, they can, they just choose not to. And I'm convinced learning that discipline to restrain ourselves before marriage has freed us up to thoroughly enjoy ourselves after marriage. Okay. So there's a few things I like about this and a few things I hate, <laughs> naturally. Uh, first of all, um, now, dating, uh, not having sex while you're dating, that's a good thing. That's very good. There are many things uh, to benefit from there, but dating for six, six years? What? I mean, don't don't tell people to date for six years. Are you kidding me? That's if you want people to sin sexually, that's how you do it. Okay. I mean, kudos to them for for managing to restrain themselves for that long. Most people won't. Okay. It, the longer you are dating, the longer you're together the less likely, less likely you are to restrain yourself, okay? Because <laughs> young people want to have sex, and willpower is finite, okay? It's not going to last forever. I've said it before, I'll say it again. <laughs> Ladies, if a man does not commit to marry you within a year, if he doesn't propose to you inside of a year, break it off and move on. Because <laughs> there are too many couples who date for six, seven, eight years, break it off, and then do it all over again, okay? Most of the time, they're having sex with those people for that period of time. But p picture this. You date a guy for six or seven years. You start dating when you're 22. You date for six years. Now you're 28. You break it up. You move on. You meet another guy. You date for seven years. Now you're in your mid to late 30s. That doesn't work out. You break it up and move on. You see the problem here? <laughs> okay? If you're dating for that long, you break up. You're... You're not going to live forever, okay? By the time you're in your 40s, you're most likely half dead, okay? <laughs> and most of you won't be able to have kids at that point either. Just just pointing it out. And <laughs> and if you're dating for six years, odds are you're having sex too because willpower is finite. So you're messing yourself up even more. <laughs> if you're dating for six years and you haven't committed to each other, that's a problem. Okay. Okay. I mean, God bless these people. They're trying to help people out, but that's just stupid. If you can restrain yourself for six years, God bless you if you can, but you're in the vast minority. Okay. Okay. The vast majority of people are not going to hold it back for that long. Willpower is finite. And my wife and I would still be dating if we did that. Okay. Oh, goodness. I, I'm so glad that's not... That's not true, but I mean, look, I, I, I got engaged to my wife after three and a half months because as, as Paul writes, it is better to marry than to burn with passion. And for the first time ever, after three months, I was hearing the Jonas Brothers in my head. That's never happened before. I was hearing, I'm burning up, burning up for you, baby. Okay. okay. If you are feeling like that, if you are feeling the passion, it's time to get married. <laughs> just, just do it. <laughs> If you are feeling in fuego, just marry the girl and enjoy the girl. Don't be waiting another six, seven, eight years before committing to this woman. You have the passion for her, marry her, make that commitment, and enjoy. <laughs> don't, don't set yourself up for sexual sin by waiting forever. Now, sticking on this topic for just a moment longer... Uh, speaking directly to you ladies now, <laughs> and you're gonna, some of you will hate me for this, but this is to your benefit, okay? So just hear me out. A man's fundamental interest in the woman, I'm sorry, is his sex drive. If it wasn't for his sex drive, he probably wouldn't be all that interested in getting married to begin with. He would not want to sac sacrifice his freedom for, for that. Now, <laughs> a lot of women get mad when I say that, but this is what gives you power. This is the power that women wield over men. You have all the power in single and dating life. This is this is on you, ladies. You have this power over men. Now, the way you wield it, because most women wield it incorrectly, here's what you do. If you want the man to marry you, don't sleep with him. 
you withhold sex, the one, the big thing that he wants, you withhold that until he commits what, to you what you want. He commits his life to you. He marries you. This is what you do. This is how you correctly wield this great weapon that you wield by nature. This is the power that God gave you. Okay. Now, if you give sex away for free before marriage, you you surrender that power. You no longer have it. You withhold it until you get what you want. Marriage. And then have at it. Enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Zach Lindquist. If you like what you heard, don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe. It would really help me out immensely. Big Tech is really cracking down. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot going into that. So it... Um, the more you subscribe, the more you share on other platforms, the easier it will be for me to circulate. Uh, there's only so much they can do to suppress me. So please share as much as you possibly can on all the platforms you can. It will really help me out. And of course, if you have not yet, don't forget to check out my book, Back to the Basics of Love, A Single Christian's Guide to Dating, Sex, and Morality in the Secular World. I really believe in this book. I think you should too. So by all means, get yourself a copy, your loved ones a copy. Spread the word about it far and wide, please, by all means. Thank you so much for your time, and God bless.